Are you still watching Ways? Now, every year, countries around the world celebrate World Blood Donor Day. The event serves to raise awareness of the need for safe blood and blood products and to thank voluntary unpaid blood donors for their life saving gifts of blood. I am a universal donor. Every time we talk about World Blood Donor Day, I can't fail to mention that I can give blood to anybody. You know, so. Maybe that's why most times I'm very skeptical about things like tattoo and all of that. Just, you know, to keep my blood safe in case of emergency. I've donated blood, was it once or twice now in my lifetime? I don't really go to those blood banks, but I mean, when there's a need and I'm called upon. I'm, Same here. Yeah. I yeah. haven't donated blood. Yeah. But oh, you're a universal um, donor? Yes. Okay. So How about you, Jennifer? I am, but I've actually never donated blood before. Oh, we are all universal donors. Okay. If you need blood out there, the ways ladies are here to hook you up. <laughs> but do you believe in all those myths around your blood and all that? Because I don't believe in all those things. So. If I need to help someone, why yeah. not? But yeah. I have a tattoo, so... Well, I don't know. I just I only that, heard I that. that it yeah, can still, it can. No, but they'll still yeah, test yeah, your yeah, blood. They will just have to test your blood to be sure, be that, sure that it's not contaminated. It's contaminated. Yeah, and it has it's not contaminated. Yeah. You know all those needles and tattoos and all of that. Yeah, yeah I donated blood to my sister in law God rest her soul, many years ago. But hey, we still lost her. Mm. This well. Okay. Yeah. All right, so who are we starting with? Jennifer, let me come to you. What did you find for us in All right, so the governor of Ondo State, Rotimi Akere Dolu, has handed over power to his deputy, Loki Aye Datiwa, as he embarks on a 21 day leave for medical treatment. Happened recently, and all mm -hmm. of that, all pictures and all of that. So, I mean, we pray for him to recover, but I just wish that our leaders can actually share health conditions like so like we need to even know what it is like see, tomorrow now, i don't know the sickness that's made our president stay nine months do you know the sickness that made him stay nine months outside of the country no idea like, like we don't no. have details they always all of that. um stated it was they always stated like it was a medical checkup yeah. Every time they always say medical no, checkup. Yeah, they always say they never make checkup. it seem like oh it was um, a serious illness. I think this is the first time. And I think they owe about... it to us to actually yeah. state things like that. That's what I'm saying. That like, you owe me an explanation. Yeah. I can't just tell my child that I will not see 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 them for my children for for months, and I can't even tell them the nature of the sickness or anything. Like yeah. you know. I don't know, maybe these are our superstitious beliefs and all of that. I don't know, but it didn't make any sense to me yeah, that I didn't yeah. have clarity as to what it was that was being treated. So at least let's start to just... is not our thing. No, it's then not. again, so it's not. They don't right. feel like they owe you an explanation. Anyway, my story is kind of a brief one, but it's, kind of, it's, it's just quite funny. I just came across it and I just thought it was a short laugh. So um, there was a video I saw circulating social media during the swearing in of the tenth house of rep speaker where you know usually when you're doing when you're being sworn in you have your family members around you so he had his second wife standing right beside him and then from nowhere in the video i don't know if we're going to show that video but in the video you see his first wife walking up to the stage and kind of like and subconsciously see. shoving the second wife out of the way and putting her head like I'm the first. <laughs> and then the reason why I was making me laugh is because they don't have like first lady house for house. <laughs> no, she needs to make her presence. No, more. I understand that. Mm -hmm. But I don't feel like this is the kind of thing you should be bringing out to public. Like, this thing should have been settled at home. Okay, mm -hmm. I'm the one that is going out. To represent. Do you understand? Like, this is our own of Ife now. I think he has separated it like. Some events, or oh, yeah, the person coming so, with me. I feel like things like that should be should not have happened. I'm not coming, no, but outside. for it to have happened like that, you know, that maybe they had talked about it and yeah. probably somebody did not agree, yeah, to the terms so and she conditions. Had to, she said, because someone was, was, someone was clearly stage, I'm gonna show up, yeah, and she I just mean, went, she went and then she kind of it, it was very like, first of all, you just see like you have the judge and then you have the or the justice, and then you have um, what's his name, uh, Tajuddin Abbas. And then you have this small head. I saw the head. I, I couldn't right. understand the story. And then the next thing, you just see someone walk up on stage and just... 
<laughs> so it was quite funny to see that things like this still happen in our country and it was just a funny situation it was an official swearing in so for something like that to be happening but then again it's nigeria, nigeria? a lot ah. of things happen anything goes so yes that's my news all right so on that note hmm. nigeria has officially floated its naira currency after years of sticking with a hard peg that spoke to investors and drained dollars from the economy. The development means that buyers and sellers of foreign currency in the official FX market are now allowed to quote rates they find comfortable in the FX market as against previous practice where rates were dictated by the Central Bank of Nigeria. All I can say is that our president <laughs> wants to allow the dollar to breathe because <laughs> <laughs> now what? dollar can breathe it's going to be determined by market forces the little way they pay me now they say so of course we won't pay school fees it was i was even going to say that when uti comes up i'd like her to explain how i can breathe <laughs> how she can because help me people need, need to, to breathe, breathe. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> Somebody said that I should be Tinobu's, um, what's it called, his PR and brand ambassador. <laughs> that every, every, uh, what's it called, every, every slogan that goes viral, that I always find a way <laughs> to slot, no way. slot it in, right? Because it's a different town hall right now. I'm yeah. willing to breathe. Absolutely, we need to breathe. <laughs> All right, so on that note, we'll take a break. We want to discuss the student loan. <laughs> and our guest will join us, Uti Elu. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <laughs>